welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today I have another wish list video for you guys. I try to do these like once a month and I switch up my stores. I, I either do Ulta or Sephora or Target. Um, and today's is a Target. And I actually really like doing the Target's ones because they have a little bit of everything. So it's not strictly like makeup and skincare. I also have a few um, clothing items and a few home items to share with you guys as well. So let's just dive right in. I'm going to start with my skincare and makeup and stuff. I think it's all skincare. I think there's a hair care, maybe a body care. And then I'll do um, clothing and home last. So let me get the screen record going and move over so you can see my screen. Okay. So the first thing on my wish list is this new, I've never heard of this brand before, but it's this Bacuchio from a brand called BB, I think, BB. I, I don't know, it might be BB, it could be BB, I don't know. But it's a Bacuchio Booster Facial Treatment. So when I first liked this, it said it was $26, which I thought was a little crazy because it was, it's only half an ounce, but they have since adjusted it. It's only $9.99, it's a little bit more reasonable for half an ounce of a serum. But I thought what was interesting about this is um, it's literally just Bacuchiol and squalene. That's all it is. So Bacuchiol is, um, they tout it as kind of like a natural form of retinol. Um, I use it right now in place of retinol because my skin just needed a break from retinol, but I wanted to kind of um, keep that up. So I keep looking for new Bacuchiol items. And this one was really interesting to me because of the fact that it's literally just Bacuchiol and squalene. So squalene is also a great hydrator. I have very dry skin. So I thought that was really interesting. So it says it's 1% Bacuchiol oil and 99% squalene oil booster. Um, it says it helps to plump and smooth and improve skin texture. 100% natural, cruelty-free, vegan for all skin types, especially damaged skin. Um, and it's the Bakuchal is sustainably harvested in India. Um, so they also tell you you can use it in a couple different ways. Um, they say their BB boosters are kind of like supplements for your skin and can be combined with existing products maximize, to maximize their performance or simply use alone. Um, it says use every night, add a couple of drops to your serum, moisturizer, or mask, and massage into face and neck. Can also be applied directly to skin. So I thought that was interesting that there was a couple different ways you could use it. Um, but it's also just, you know, those two simple things. Even if you look at the ingredient list, it's literally just squalene, which comes from, they say, olive oil and the bakuchi oil. That's all it is. And I think that's awesome that it's such a simple product. Um, so you could really tell if the Bacuchiol is like working for you or not because there's nothing else in there. Um, and I've seen this in stores already. It looks awesome. I might try it when I'm out of my current Bacuchiol, which I'm currently using um, a Burt's Bees. They have a firming serum that has Bacuchiol in it. Um, but this one just looked really interesting to me. So I put it on my wish list. Okay, the next thing is from Bioderma. This is the Atoderm Body Cleansing Oil. And I thought this was so interesting because I have really dry skin on my body as well. Not just my face, I'm just, a, I have dry skin. Um, so I thought this was really interesting because it was a cleansing oil for your body. So in my mind, I wouldn't lose as much moisture like in the shower as I'm like cleaning my skin. Um, it says it gently cleanses, instantly soothes discomfort nourishes and respects sensitive skin, leaves skin feeling ultra comfortable, suitable for the whole family, kids, adults, kids, and babies, can be used on face and body. That's interesting. Very good, very good skin and ocular tolerance, silky texture, rinses off clean, soap-free, non-comedogenic, doesn't sting eyes, light fragrance, steroid-free, paraben-free. It doesn't say if it like emulsifies or anything like that. So I don't know how it would work on your face. Um, I don't know um, like how that would work, but it seems like an awesome thing to kind of use in the shower and to keep your skin moisturized, but also clean. 
um, it looks like it's a big bottle. It's a liter bottle. So it's 33.8 fluid ounces. That's a lot of, lot of oil. It's 20 bucks. It looks just really interesting. Um, I have never tried anything from Bioderma. I know their micellar water is like classic and a cult favorite. Um, but I've heard really good things about their other skincare products as well. And so this one just looked really interesting because I do have such dry skin. Okay, the next few things are all from Naturium, which if you love skincare and beauty, you probably follow Mixed Makeup and Susan Yara here on YouTube. This is Susan Yara's skincare brand. Um, I actually have this first product already in my bathroom. I already bought it, bought it from Target. I'm gonna do a 30 day skincare test once I finish up my current vitamin C because vitamin C does go bad fairly quickly. I don't wanna like waste the one I'm already using. Um, so this is their vitamin C complex serum. All of their products are right around 20 bucks, which is I think is a really good price point to be honest. Um, there's definitely a few products that like you can get from the ordinary that are a little bit cheaper, but all these products have other things in them to kind of help boost that main ingredient. And so the first thing I was really interested in was this vitamin C complex serum because I do have sensitive skin and I love my Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. This one looked like a good comparison and it's a little bit cheaper than the vitamin C I'm currently using. So this has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. So it's a lot like my Mad Hippie one. Um, so it says it's made in the USA. It's paraben free, vegan, gluten free, cruelty free, fragrance free, dermatolo dermatologist tested, helps brighten overall complexion, diminishes the looks of fine line, fine lines, and shields skin from environmental stressors. Um, I think I read somewhere, yeah, so this, it says this product contains an advanced vitamin C delivery system that is 10 times more effective, protects sensitive skin, L-ascorbic acid, uh, uh, enhances efficacy and skin penetration and offers 100% antioxidant protection. So that's what really got me was this unique form of vitamin C that they claim to use. It's supposed to be great for sensitive skin. So I thought that was really interesting. It has a whole bunch of labels. It's on Target's Clean Beauty, Paraben Free, Cruelty Free, No Synthetic Fragrance. It says it looks like it's good for all skin types including acne prone, which I am. Um, I just thought this was really interesting. Like I said, it's like at a, it's at a great price point and it's just one of those things that looked really interesting. And I wanted to try the Naturium products for a while now, but since they weren't in any like mainstream store, I didn't want to place a whole order on their website. So it's nice that they have a few things in stores at Target as, as well as online. I know some of these things I couldn't find at my store, but I did find the vitamin C. The next thing from Naturium I was really interested in was this, their mandelic, mandelic topical acid 12%. So mandelic acid is um, an AHA, but it has a larger molecule. So it penetrates the skin like slower than other AHAs. So it's supposed to be great for sensitive skin. Um, I have never tried a straight mandelic acid before. I know it's been in some of my other products and stuff like that, but I've never tried um, like mandelic acid for its own on its own. It says this also has niacinamide and natural fruit acids. Again, cruelty free, made in the USA, all that fun stuff. Um, it says slow penetrating AHA gently exfoliates, increases cell turnover for brighter skin, helps firm and, re firm and reduce the look of fine lines. So yeah, it just looks like a really interesting acid. And I like that they have a whole bunch of different acids for different skin types and different concerns. So you can really kind of like pick and choose what you're gonna use. It's not like an AHA serum when it has a whole bunch of acids in it and it might not be right for your skin. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. And I also love that they combine other skin brightening ingredients so you don't have to like do too much. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I feel like with the ordinary, I'm getting like one great ingredient, but I want like one more with it. I don't have to keep layering all those. So I think this kind of like hits the nail on the head with that aspect. Okay. The next thing from Naturium is their PHA topical acid 12%. 
Again, I've used PHAs before in other products, but they've always been combined with like stronger acids and stuff like that. Um, so I thought this was really interesting that it's just PHA. It also has um, lingonberry stem cells and hyaluronic acid. So again, a PHA has a larger molecule. I've heard of some, some people say that's more of like an anti-aging exfoliator than like a true chemical exfoliator. For someone like me with sensitive skin, it worked great as an exfoliator. Um, I really enjoy PHAs and I was very curious about this one. It says it says it gently yet ex effectively exfoliates skin. I cannot talk today. Smooth and even skin tone works as a natural humectant to hydrate. So again, if you have sensitive dry skin, this might be a great exfoliator to try because it is gentler. So it's still gonna slough off that dead skin, but it has the hyaluronic acid to pull moisture and water back into your skin. So you're gonna get the benefit of both of those things. Um, again, it's $20 and it just looks, again, like a really interesting product from the brand. The last thing from the brand that I'm very interested in is their azelaic acid 10%. So this is $20.49. It's currently sold out while I'm making this video and I feel like it's been sold out for a while and I have a feeling this is one of their more popular skincare items from this line. So I'm currently using the Ordinary um, Azelaic Acid and it's in like a silicone base and this might just not be for everybody. Um, and I'm very interested to try it like in a serum form. This is a lot more expensive than the ordinary one, but that serum form might work better for your skin type. Maybe the silicone doesn't agree with your skin. This also has niacinamide and vitamin C in it. So you're kind of getting all those combined and those are really great skin brightening and great for like acne and stuff like that. So it's very like an interesting combination. It says that it gently exfoliates, helps reduce dark spots and balances excess oil. So kind of like, you know, all those great things for um, current acne and any type of pigmentation you might have left. I don't know, it just looks really interesting. I love my azelaic acid. Um, I haven't been putting my azelaic acid all over my skin recently, just kind of like spot treatments. But this just looks really interesting. Um, hopefully this comes back in stock and I can try it eventually. But yeah, this just the whole like Naturium line just looks really interesting. I think it's a great price point. Um, the packaging is really pretty too. And I'm really excited to try that vitamin C. So definitely subscribe and stick around if you are curious about a 30 day skincare test with that. It'll probably be up next month just because I haven't started using it yet. So really interesting. If you want to see any other 30 day skincare tests from this brand and like products specifically, let me know, leave me a comment. I would love to do those for you. So just let me know. All right, the next product is from a brand I've never heard of again. This is Real Beauty, I think is how you say it. And this is their daily detox oil to foam gentle cleanser. So I am still on an oil cleanser journey. I just started using a new one that I've been loving, but I'm still on my oil cleanser journey to kind of find my favorite one. And this looks like a really interesting one because it was oil to foam, whereas most oil cleansers don't really foam up. They're kind of just like a milky texture once you add water. So this is $23.99. Um, and it says this oil to foam cleanser dissolves and removes all traces of dirt and oil and pollution without stripping skin. Uh, removed 94% of fine dust particles that collected in pores from everyday pollution based on a clinical study. Who knows how many people were in that study? Doesn't matter. Um, infused with anti antioxidant rich olive oil and China berry extracts to, again, to protect against free radicals. Um, <clears throat> hydrating vitamin B5 leaves skin feeling soft, smooth, and healthy. It says clean 10 free formula. So it looks like they have a list of like 10 things they don't have. They don't have artificial fragrance, dyes, parabens, 
phthalates, PEGs, mineral oil, silicones, sulfates, phenyl, phenoxylmethyl, I don't know how to say that one, um, and animal-derived ingredients. It says it's non-irritating and safe for all skin types. Yeah, so the thing that really intrigued me was the, like, foaming part that it foams up once you put it on your skin. But like I said, I'm just on an oil cleanser journey and this looks like a really interesting one. So we will see. The other problem with some of these like smaller brands that Target now sells is they don't sell them in stores. So do I wanna place an order? I don't know, but it looks like a really interesting one. Okay, another body care product again from Bioderma. Um, it, this is in their same line as that oil cleanser I just talked about. It's the Adoderma Intensive Body Balm. So again, super dry body skin. I mean, like cracking, itching. It's I put lotion on every day, and it's still just so my skin's just so dry. So this is twenty four ninety nine. It says it soothes and reduces feelings of discomfort, ultra nourishing action, instantly absorbs and comforts, which super important. I hate when I feel like sticky after I put on lotion. Um, strengthens skin, st durably strengthens skin, suitable for whole family, can be used on face and body. I probably wouldn't use this on my face. Um, very good tolerance, unfragranced, non-sticky, non-greasy, steroid-free, paraben-free. So again, I don't know if I would use this on my face. But then again, I do use the uh, CeraVe cream on my face, and that's also can be used as a body moisturizer. So maybe it would work. <clears throat> um, but it just looks like a really nice, thick balm, or at least that's the way they describe it. Um, and I'm always looking for like a really good moisturizer for my body. $24.99 is a little bit more expensive than I normally spend on body lotion, but it looks like a really good one, so we will see. Oh, I do have one makeup item. So this is from Pacifica. This is their Ultra CC Cream Radiant Foundation. So I talked a while ago, I don't remember which one of my wish lists it was, that I went down like a clean beauty rabbit hole and had a whole bunch of like clean beauty there. Um, so this is another one of their Clean Beauty products. This looked like it was on the newer side. Um, and CC Cream, my understanding, is like a little bit higher coverage than like a BB Cream. Um, it says this creamy foundation feels light, smooth, and flawless, hydrates your skin, and corrects color, preventing perfect foundation for all skin types made with coconut water. It has SPF of 17 in it, which I would never use my makeup as my only SPF anyway, but that's not enough SPF in my opinion. 100% uh, vegan cruelty-free made in the U.S. with global ingredients. So they don't have a ton of colors, which I feel like Pacifica never does with their like CC and BB creams because I feel like it's a little bit higher coverage than a BB cream but it's still not like full coverage that you need to like match your skin tone exactly. Like these colors can be stretched over a few skin tones if that makes sense. Um, but again, it just looks like a really pretty lightweight foundation, which I go for. Um, and the words radiant, I'm all there for that. So this just looks like a really interesting new base product from like a good clean beauty brand. Okay, the last product is for your hair and this is from not your mother's it's their curl talk cleansing oil again super interesting that all these brands are coming out with oil cleansers for different parts of your body and i love that they have one for your hair for your scalp i have a really dry scalp i have very dry hair part of having curly hair again i just have i'm just dry okay just I'm, i don't know my hair my skin it's all dry um, and so I thought this was really interesting because it sounds like it will help break up any buildup you have, but also leave your scalp moisturized. Um, so it says for all curly types, which I, I know my hair isn't super curly today. It's long story, but um, I do have very curly hair. <laughs> um, uh, it says it busts up, 
bus through buildup, help, helps to restore oil, exfoliates scalp and replenishes moisture, vegan friendly and gluten free, free of alcohol, silicones, parabens, sulfates, phthalates, dyes, safe for natural and color treated hair, and never tested on animals. So I love Not Your Mother's curly hair products. I'm currently using their shampoo. Um, but this just looks like, again, a really interesting one. It has Amazon white clay, peppermint oil, and superfood oil blend. Um, and it just sounds like everything I need. I don't wash my hair very often, but when I'm like doing my hair and I'm like trying to get second, third day hair, I do add extra product to my hair. And so I wanna get my scalp really clean before I start that process all over again. Um, and I, I just, I have a dry scalp though too, so I don't wanna wash it too often. So it just seems like a great kind of like first step to kind of get my scalp clean, but moisturized. And then maybe, you know, I'll shampoo it really quick or something. Um, this might be just a great, you know, only step for you. I don't know, it just seems like a really interesting product and I haven't heard of an oil cleanser for your scalp. So it just seemed like a really interesting one. It's only $7.99. Natural Mother's hair products are so affordable. I love that about this brand too. So it just seemed like a really interesting product. Okay, let's go on to a few fashion things. I have three dresses. I don't know what it is. I think I'm like ready for spring already. I get past Christmas and like New Year's and Valentine's Day and all of a sudden I'm like, all right, I'm ready for it to be spring. My birthday's coming up. Can it be warm by my birthday? It, it won't be here, but I wish. Um, so I'm looking at dresses. So this first one is from Wild Fable and this is a short sleeve baby doll sweatshirt dress. And I just thought this was really cute and kind of like casual and comfortable. Um, it looks like it'd be a good length on me. It looks like it's a little bit shorter in the front and longer in the back. Um, and the pictures of like, they always have pictures of people who have like been wearing them. And I just think it looks really cute. I love it with this jean jacket. Um, I just think it looks like a really cute, comfortable, casual piece that I could just like easily throw on, throw some sandals, some boots, whatever it is, and a jean jacket that would look super cute and pulled together, but also really comfortable. So I just thought it looks really cute. It does come in plus size as well whole bunch of different colors. I actually really like the gray, to be honest. This blue is also really pretty. Um, it's $25, really affordable. And I just think it looks really cute. Okay, this next one is again from Wild Fable and this is their sleeveless rib knit dress. It's only $15, which wow. Um, I just thought this was really cute. I don't own anything kind of this length and I tend to find that these kind of like things don't always look the best on me, but I thought with the slit, it might look better. And again, the pictures of these women wearing them look beautiful. All these pregnant women look really cute in it too. I think it's really cute on a pregnant woman. So if you're pregnant, this would be a cute one. Um, but I just think it's a really cute dress. Um, I love this cranberry color, honestly. I think that's really cute. I also obviously love the black. I wear a lot of black, um, super cute. Um, the stripes look really cute on those pregnant women. I don't know how it would look on me, but it is really a cute dress. Um, and I really like it. Okay, this next one is from Who, What, Where. This is $36.99. It's sold out in a lot of the colors right now. Um, but I thought this was so cute. This is a sleeve, uh, short sleeve button up trapeze dress. Um, and again, so cute and casual, really easy to kind of like throw on and you would just look so put together. Um, I've seen, again, some of these women are so cute in it. I just think it's a really cute, comfortable, casual dress. I love the stripe one to be honest, but again, they're sold out in a lot of colors. Um, but super cute, definitely have like a little bit of anything. Like if you want to go simple, you could just get like a solid, but they also have some pattern ones. Just really cute, um, comfortable, casual, kind of my style. I love it. All right. The last dress is again from a new day. 
This is $15 and it's the ruffle sleeveless hem knit dress. You see a pattern here. I went for cute, comfortable, casual dresses and this one is no exception. I just think it's so cute, a little bit of high, low action. Um, and I love the little ruffle at the bottom. Again, a ton of colors, it comes in plus size. Just like a really cute, comfortable, casual dress. I keep saying those words because that's my style. Cute, comfortable, casual. Those are what I like. And again, like with the jean jacket, I thought this was a really cute monotone look with the sweater over it. Um, I just think there's a lot of ways you could wear this dress. And it would just be kind of like the perfect vacation dress too. I know we're not going on vacation right now. But we can pretend, you know, we can have a little staycation at home throw on a cute dress. Um, there's a lot of beautiful colors. Again, I always tend towards black, but I do love it in this kind of like cream color. Um, really pretty pastels. I just think it's a really pretty dress. All right, and finally, I have a few home things. I need a couple baskets for my office, so I have a couple basket sets that I thought were really interesting. But before I talk about them, let me tell you, I picked a couple originally that they were like set of threes and they were like $300. I didn't even realize it until I like went to go put this all together. I was like, why are these baskets $300? So I took those off cause that's a little bit insane, but I found a couple cute ones that I like. So these first ones are from Shira Lay. They're $48 and it's a three set of natural Noosa organizing baskets. And I just thought these were really cute. Um, they show them in a bathroom. I don't know how big they are. I'd have to like measure my space and see if that would work. Um, it looks like these are like a Target Plus partner, so they're not shipped through Target, which makes me a little leery, but I just thought they were really cute. Um, I still think $48 for three baskets is a little much. It's getting up there depending on how big they are. I think, you know, could go either way. I just thought these ones were cute ones. These ones are way more expensive. These are the tag maids stripe round baskets. It's a set of three. Again, these are a Target partner, so they don't ship through Target, but these are $96.79. That's expensive. I don't know what is up with these baskets. I don't know if they're hand woven or what, but they do look really cute. Again, I'd have to kind of measure to see if they would fit my space anyway, but I thought these were just really cute baskets and I wanted to share them with you guys. Um, it does say these ones are hand woven. That's probably why they're so expensive. Um, <clears throat> but I just liked these styles and I kind of wanted to show you where I was thinking of going with my office style for baskets. Um, I'm gonna keep looking because neither of those are quite right probably and they're a little expensive, but they're super cute. It says these ones are shipped and sold from Plum and Post, so I don't know. But um, yeah, I think they're really cute. All right, so that is everything currently on my Target wish list. Um, lots of skincare, actually. I'm really excited to hopefully try a few of them. Again, if you want me to try anything from specific, let me know, leave me a comment. I love to try new skincare, so just let me know. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal for the year by subscribing to our little adventure family here. We would love to have you. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.